much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Steph and this is Loco Flows Yoga. This is a fun power flow that was a live audio recording from my studio class, which I really think being able to record live classes and then share them online is pretty special because you can tune into that live experience when you're at home or wherever you are practicing it. So I hope you really enjoy this one. It's different from my typical power flow because it starts with a really nice, slow yin practice. Yin is when you hold um, a supported yoga pose for a couple of minutes. And we start off sitting upright with the legs crossed in a meditation which moves us then into <clears throat> pigeon pose, which is a nice deep hip opener for a few minutes, and then meditation again, sitting upright, and then the other side of pigeon. So that's the whole first 20 minutes. So um, if you just want to do the first 20 minutes to get unwind and kind of relax the mind and connect back to your body and to your breath and release some tension or stagnant energy, the first 20 minutes is perfect for that. And I might even clip it to a new video by itself. But if you do the whole thing through, it's just a really nice way to get into a nice space for the rest of the practice before we start turning up the volume on the core strength um, and the vigorousness of the yoga flow. Um, when it does get to the core um, power practice, it focuses on lunges, um, as well as planks and side planks. I would say the shoulders and the chest and the upper back are the main emphasis of this flow. There are a lot of opportunities to take standing back bends, and I really just want to talk about um, when we do those back bends to go slow into them and take care of yourself. Um, for a few of them, there are several breaths that we are back bending for. Um, so if you need to come out of it, if it feels like it's scrunching your lower spine, please come out of it. Take another inhale to lift through the heart, lift through the sternum, and find that length, draw up the spine before you tip your head back. So you want to avoid just leaning straight back into it and imagine that you're leaning or you're bending backwards up and over something so that you keep a really long spine all the way through the lower vertebra. Um, remembering that back bends are not actually designed to bend our backs. They're designed to lengthen the front body. So try and go from it from that approach. And um, often I'll cue our hands up, but you can always put your hands to your hips or to your low back to bring that focus to the low back of bringing that length there um, and just really trying to avoid scrunching the lower spine. Um, for props, I do have two blocks in this video. They're not super necessary, so if you don't have anything, I wouldn't stress about having blocks available. But if you have something, um, even a couple of books that you can put on the two top um, areas of your mat, they may be there um, helpful for different um, poses like Warrior Three um, and another um, standing balance that we do, Chair Figure Four. So that's towards the end of the practice. Um, uh, if you like a blanket at the beginning to sit up on, uh, we will be there. Like I said, the first 20 minutes is yin, so I highly recommend that you bring a blanket for the start and a strap or a belt or a t-shirt, anything, um, is really nice for a good quadricep stretch at the beginning as well to bring it around your foot and pull your foot in towards your glute. So I think that it. I'm really happy that you're here practicing with me wherever you are. Please like, comment, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, um, and let me know that you practice. I'd love to hear from you. Hmm. Happy flowing. We're going to get started in a seated cross-leg position. If you have a blanket, go ahead and sit up on your blanket. Lift your hips to be kind and practice non-harming to the body, to the self. And just notice when you come into this cross-leg position how your body feels. Maybe it feels similar to how it's felt in the past. Maybe there's something new going on in the body, in the hips, in the knees, in the spine. So give yourself a moment to close your eyes and draw your awareness inward.
taking a moment first to see how your weight feels pressing against the earth beneath you. And when we close our eyes and bring our awareness to our seats, to that point of contact that we have with the floor, it's almost like we step into this next dimension of stillness. It can take some time, lots of patience, compassion for self, but becoming radically still. Finding stillness not only in your physical body, but you become so still that everything in your mind becomes quiet. The breath is just in ease as it comes in and out on its own. And just becoming quiet enough, still enough through every layer of your being that you truly can listen. Notice where you're holding tension. Maybe you can let go through the shoulders a little deeper, through the face, the brow line, the jaw, the fingers and toes. I'm just trusting your spine to keep you lifted here with the shoulders stacked over the hips. Disengage a little bit more of that muscular effort and allow yourself to just be held and supported. Now let's invite some deeper breaths in, allowing this wave of an inhale to fill up the entire body as expansive as possible. Really enjoying the breath as if it's sustaining your life because that is exactly what it's doing. Really enjoying the inhale as if it's making love within your body, letting you connect back to the love that resides deep within you. And where does your body need a little bit more of that breath, a little bit more of that space, A little bit more of that softness. Let's take three cleansing breaths together. So begin by emptying out your lungs. Let it go of all the breath that's within you. Begin by breathing in through through the nose. Inhaling. Sip in through the lips. When you get to the top of the inhale, sip in more breath. You have more space. Let yourself become a little uncomfortable. You're so full of breath. Hold it for a moment. Let yourself be full. Let it pulse. Let it spiral. So you exhale, exhale out the mouth. Create some sound. (sighs) Beautiful. Pressing it all out. Completely empty. Another full inhale through the nose. Sip in through the lips. Hold the breath. (sighs) One more. (sighs) Flip the palms to face the sky. Reach the fingers out, extending the arms. Really reaching in either direction, becoming expansive through the fingers, feeling the length 
the resistance, the pull through the shoulders. Inhale, reach the fingers up to the sky. Exhale, turn to the left, right palm to the left knee. Spinal twist here. Each inhale, sinking length through the spine, sit up nice and tall. Each exhale, twist it out. <coughs> inhale, come back to center. Lift the fingers, lengthen all the way through the side bodies. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center, arms sweep up, palms touch. Exhale the hands together to the heart space. Invite your intention to join you. The purpose behind your practice, more important than what you actually do, is your mindset behind what you do. Not just in yoga, but in everything in life. Connecting to our thoughts that fuel our emotions, which ultimately fuel our perspective on life. So plant your seed, your intention deep within your heart, and let it be carried through with the breath, through each pose. What are you inviting into your life? What are you ready to let go of? And can you trust that you're exactly where you're meant to be, even if it doesn't seem that way? Very gently, begin to blink the eyes open, taking in the colors, the shapes, as you slowly let your vision clear and become focused. If you have the blanket, go ahead and push it away. We're going to get right into the nice hip openers today. So go ahead and bring your right leg all the way back and behind you. Be careful of your kneecap when you come on to your leg. Try not to roll it. Let the top of the foot come to the mat, top of the leg. Pigeon pose. This is an intense one, so ease your way into it. Try not to sit on your left thigh. If you notice you're sitting on your left thigh, this means this right hip is totally lopsided. Let that right hip come next to the left. Go ahead and bring your blanket, if you'd like, under that left thigh to keep it supported there. Sitting nice and tall through the shoulders. There's a gentle back bend happening here with our tailbone out. So let your shoulders pull back, your elbows pull back. Soften the face. Take a full inhale. So you exhale, you can fold the chest forward, letting the hands come in front of you to support you. You have your block here. You can go ahead and bring your forehead to the block, unless your forehead comes all the way to the floor. And let yourself become, come into total stillness, your favorite pose. <laughs> so here we are, finding connection of our forehead to the earth, rocking the forehead side to side. Massaging the front of the face, letting the mind settle into stillness, letting go of any stress or activity from your day. The only thing that's really real ever is this present moment here. So how can we become more alive within all of our senses to really enjoy everything that this moment has to offer us? The breath, let it become stronger. Let the breath have a powerful vibration, one that you can feel, one that you can hear, and of course, smell, smelling your mat as you relax here, and just notice that surrender that your body is symbolizing to the earth here with an open hip. And any time emotions swell up, any time the intensity in the hip physically swells up, take a deeper breath. Take a stronger exhale. It's easy to run away, to get frustrated. Becoming calm and sitting with the sensations that aren't lovely is the key to working past all of those limitations that are 
illusion in our minds. Three cleansing breaths, full inhale. Complete exhale. Deepest breaths you've taken all day. Inhale through the nose. Make some sound. Beautiful. Last one. Ah. Inhale, lift the chest, bring the palms under the shoulders. So we have our straps here. I don't have one, but if you have your strap, you can option to put it around your toes here if you can't already reach. So we're reaching back with our right arm, not our left. It's an option to reach back. You can just stay lifted here and really enjoy the gentle back bend. If you have your strap, you can put your strap around your foot to start working on the stretch. Beautiful. Breathe. If you're reaching back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, staying active in the upper back. Exhale, release. Palms under the shoulders. Tuck your back toes. Lift this left leg up and back. Three leg dog. Reaching that left heel to the sky. Bend the knee. Stack the hip. Draw large circles with this left kneecap. As large as you can make them. Nice and slow, spread all your fingers wide, press through your whole hands here, down dog shape, let the spine be nice and long, switch up your direction, inhale, extend the left leg really long up behind you, exhale, release it down to downward facing dog, inhale, glide forward to your high plank, top of a push up. Exhale, lift hips up and back, down dog. Let your inhale glide you forward. Inhale, shoulder stack over the wrist, leg lock to the hip, strong core. Exhale, lift those hips up and back, down dog. Become fluid. Inhale forward. Exhale, up and back. Slow down the breath. Slow down the movement. Let your whole inhale shift you forward. The moment you land forward, you start exhaling up and back. You can keep your back really flat and strong, or you can let it become like a cat-cow, rounding the spine as you come forward, arching as you go up and back. A few more rounds here. All you need to do is breathe and feel into your body. You can always release the knees and do a cat-cow and table if you need a little bit more of a rest. Inhale, glide forward, high plank. Exhale, lift hips down, dog, and walk the feet forward to the top of the mat, nice and slow. Sit down in our easy pose with the legs crossed. If you can remember which leg you had in front last time, bring the other leg in front this time. Go ahead and stack the palms facing the sky and just place them in your lap. Roll the shoulders back, close the eyes, let the chin become parallel to the floor. Notice the difference within your body. Notice the resistance that's in the mind. And invite in a deeper breath. What is your intention? Very slowly blink the eyes open. 
pick up the left leg, sweep it all the way back and behind you. Again, be mindful of your knee. So you want the top of the foot on the earth, the kneecap, the thigh. So you're nice and lifted here. And just notice where this right knee is. If it's in the center of your mat, see if you can bring it out wider to the right. It's okay if your heel is tucked in as much as it may need. If you feel like you can get deeper into the stretch, you can pull your big toe forward and let your shin be more parallel to the top edge of your mat. But don't push it. That's only if you really feel like you have the space within your hip. Nice and slow here. Stay lifted within the chest. Roll the shoulders back with the elbows draw back, letting a little bit of space coming through the lower back, letting the hips settle. Use your exhale to fold forward to get deeper. Use the block if you need or stack your hands as a pillow. Sitting in stillness with ourselves. A lot of people <clears throat> enjoy a power flow. It easily distracts our mind when we're constantly moving, sweating, breathing. Finding stillness has its own challenge. It's more of a mental challenge because you're forced to sit with whatever you're holding within yourself, especially in a hip opener because our hips like to hold emotions that we've never processed or fully let go of, whether we're aware of it or not. Our bodies have a lot to say. Our bodies hold a lot of energy, and we can feel it in many different sensations, whether it's a physical burny, achy, intense sensation, or whether it's an emotion, stress, anything along those lines. Anytime that we have our fight or flight response come into our body, <clears throat> our hips are activated, ready to run. And so anytime that we go through trauma or tragedy, often it's our hips that contract and literally the fibers hold on to everything that we're dealing with in that moment, which is why hips tend to be the tightest area of the body. Open your hips, open your heart. Find the breath. Three cleansing breaths here. Take a full inhale. Inhale to lift the chest. Staying here lifted or reaching now your left or our right hands back. No, our left hand. Reaching our left hand back. If you can find your foot, you can bring the heel in, bending your elbow, opening up the quadricep. Maybe you can even scoot your elbow to the big toe and free up the hand. Or if you have the strap. Staying active through the upper back, noticing we're still not sitting on the side of our thigh when we reach back. We're lifted and square through the hips. Take another deep inhale. Exhale to release. Mindfully move your way into three-leg dog with the right leg lifted. Bend the knees, stack the hips, draw big circles with this kneecap. And reverse your direction. Inhale, extend the right leg really long up and behind you. Heel to the sky. Exhale, release it down to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your toes. Standing forward, fold at the back of the mat. Let your knees be soft. Let your top body be really heavy. 
Disengage all of your neck muscle. Let your skull hang heavy. Letting that weight that's just in your arms and head to help you here. Reach for opposite elbows. Take ragdoll if that feels good. Maybe sway side to side gently. Notice where you're bearing your weight. If it's all dumping in the heels, see if you can even it out. I would bend your knees a little bit here. Yeah, beautiful. What can you let go of here? Release your grip. Bring your palms to your shins. As you inhale, rise up just halfway, lengthening the spine to a flat back. Gaze stays at the floor, top of the head towards the windows. Exhale, hinge and fold. Use the breath. Inhale to lift up halfway as you inflate, lengthen the spine. Exhale to hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hinge and fold. Walk back out to your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises to the sky. As you exhale, glide forward into your high plank. Tap the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, reach the heel back up to your three leg dog. Exhale, glide forward to your high plank. Hug the thigh into the center of the chest. Hug it in nice and tight. Inhale, heel to the sky, three leg dog. Exhale, across the body. Right knee, left elbow. Feel the oblique. Inhale, extend up to the sky. Exhale, hug it into the center of the chest. Pause here. High plank, hugging the thigh into the chest, hugging the heel into the glute. Spread your fingers wide. Press through your arms. High and strong through those back toes. Take a full inhale. Exhale, switch the legs. Hug the left knee in. Exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale to switch. Keep the hips level. Try and be soundless. No stomping. Use the core. Swift. Next time the right leg is in the chest, hold it in for another deep inhale. Exhale, plant it between the hands. When giant step forward, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, reach the hands behind you. Reach for opposite elbows. See if you can reach for your elbows and kind of snuggle your fingers to the outer edges. Allowing your forearms to come into the small of your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and just Lift the chin as you pour the weight into that front foot. Slight back bend. Release your grip. Inhale, reach the fingers forward. Looking down, really high on the back toes. Most of the weight is in this right foot. Let your chest be off of your thigh. Biceps up past your ears, breathing. Exhale, plant the hands to bring that front foot. Step the left foot forward, standing forward, hold at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine to a flat back. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, root to rise. Coming all the way up to a standing position, strong core all the way up. Reach up, look up, lengthen. Exhale, the hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, take a slide back, bend with the chin and the chest lift as you reach the fingers up and back. Pausing here, continue to back bend, exhale it out. Inhale, reach up to the sky with your chest. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer, continue back bending. Inhale, reach the fingers out and up again. Exhale, hands to prayer, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant your palms, step back one foot at a time, high plank, right side plank, left fingers to the sky, facing the mirror. You can drop your bottom knee if you want to modify here. Keep your hips lifted. Notice your bottom shoulder, press through the shoulder, spread those bottom fingers, gripping the earth. Maybe you lift the top foot and play. Take another inhale, reach for the sky. Do exhale, come to a neutral plank. Drop your knees to a modified plank. Spread your fingers. Let your fingers turn out. Take an inhale. As you exhale, let the elbows draw back. Bend the elbows halfway. Squeeze the triceps and the upper arm into the ribcage. Inhale, press back up to your modified plank. 
If you have the strength, the ability to go to a full plank, you can do that. Otherwise, keep the knees down. Exhale, lower. Chaturanga. This is halfway. Inhale, come back up. Chaturanga means to lower only halfway. Pause here. Inhale, come back up. One more time. Exhale, chaturanga. This time, release all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes. Inhale, lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back. Elbows draw back to the heels. Exhale, release. Cobra flow. Inhale to lift the chest. Exhale to release. Inhale to lift. Let the strength of your back lift you up. Exhale to release. Press your hands and knees. Tuck your toes to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, glide forward, high plank. Tap that left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Exhale to the center of the chest. Tuck it in really tight. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, across the body. Take the twist. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale to the center of the chest. Pause, hold. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in. On you, as you exhale, switch the legs. Inhale to squeeze, exhale to switch. These are mountain climbers. Feel free to go double time. Stealthy like a ninja. Soundless. Next time the left leg is in, hug it in, squeeze it in for an inhale. Exhale, plant the foot between the hands. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, arms behind you. Reach for opposite elbows. Another option is to take a prayer with the hands back here. Either one. Find that gentle back bend in the spine. Nice little curvatures. The chin and the chest lift up to the sky. High on the back toes. Deep bend in that front knee. Release. Inhale, arms up overhead. As you exhale, lean forward, reach forward. Letting your gaze come to the floor, biceps up past the ears, most of the way is in that left foot. Engaging that core, navel plugged up into the spine, breathe. Exhale, plant the hands to frame that front foot, step that right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine to a flat back. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, gentle back bend. Lift the chin, lift the chest as you reach up and back. Pause here for another inhale. Interlace your fingers with the index finger release to the back wall. Each inhale, imagine a string lifting up your sternum. Each exhale, let it fall back. Inhale, up to center, straighten up the spine, strong core. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palm, step back to high plank. Left side plank, right fingers to the sky, facing the yellow wall. You can drop your bottom knee. Keep your hips lifted. Really gentle, mindful with that bottom shoulder, that bottom wrist. Use your whole hands. Find your breath, check in with your thoughts. Ah, beautiful. Inhaling, reaching, exhaling, coming to neutral. Drop your knees for a modified plank. Take a full inhale. Exhale, lower halfway. Hug those elbows into the chest, into the ribcage. Inhale, press away, lift the chest. Exhale, lower halfway. Squeeze the upper arms in. Inhale, press away. Exhale, lower halfway. Shh. Inhale, press away. Last one. Exhale, halfway. Pause. Lower all the way to your belly. Untuck toes. Inhale, lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back. Cobra. Exhale, release the chest. Two more to your own breath. Inhale, lift the chest. Beautiful. Exhale, release as you hug those legs in together to protect the low back here. On your fourth one, lift up. Downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg rises to the sky. Exhale, glide forward, tap that knee to the elbow. Inhale, lift it up, option to hop as you lift. Exhale, tap the knee to elbow again. 
Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap it to elbow. Same side. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee to elbow. So you can just lift or you can lift and take a little handstand hop. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Controlling your upside down moments. One more. Inhale with that heel to the sky. Exhale, hug it into the chest. Pause. Plant the foot in between the hands. And switch the legs. Left foot plants between the hands. Beautiful rise. Crescent lunge. Exhale, hinge and sweep. Inhale to lift. Exhale to hinge and sweep. Inhaling. Exhaling. Exhale. Inhale it up and pause. Reach the arms behind you. Clasp the hands behind you. You can let the pointer finger go if you'd like. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Show the arms. We have our strap if this is not possible. Now lean forward. Reach forward with the chest. So most of the weight is pointing to our left foot now. Beautiful. Keeping a nice gentle curve in the back. Begin to lift your back foot up into a warrior three. We have a little bit of lift in our chest still, so our back is, has a natural curvature. Reach the back heel away. Beautiful. Let that right foot st um, come next to the left. Hinge and fold forward. Let the arms become heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, release the grip in your hands. Exhale, hinge and fold, fingers to the floor. Inhale, reach your eyes all the way up to the sky. Exhale, back bend. Three breaths here. Each inhale, feel a string lifting your sternum up. Each exhale, falling back a little more. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale to the top. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to a high plank. Widen your feet a little bit wider so they're about hip width distance apart. Take a full inhale. Exhale, drop both heels to the right. So your whole body stays the same way. Inhale, heels to center. Exhale, heels to the left. Inhale, heels to center. Exhale, drop them to the right. Move with your breath. Feel those obliques engage as you keep the shoulders down. Inhale to center, exhale, lower your weights to the earth, so either drop your knees or don't, lower halfway first, lower all the way, inhale, cobra or full up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, take a full inhale, Complete exhale. So there are two options here if you want to look forward for a minute. With the left leg this time, inhale it up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale it up with a little hop. Or not. Or just to the elbow and up. Back and forth. Exhale forward. Inhale it up. With a hop or not, your choice. Move with your breath. Inhale the left leg up, exhale, plant it between the hands. Jump and switch, right foot in the middle. Inhale all the way up, press and lunge. Exhale, hinge and sweep, fingers down and back. Inhale it up, let the chest move, the legs stay static. Flush it out, let the breath become deeper, bigger, shift the energy. Inhale it up, pause. Reach your hands behind your back, clasp them the weird, the weird way. You'll know it feels weird. <laughs> Let your pointer fingers go long. As you reach your pointer fingers to your back heel, lift the chest, lift the chin. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift the chest back up. Begin to lean forward. 
forward, reach forward, pour the weight into that right foot, take off with that back foot to the sky. This is a warrior three, so our chest is still lifted. We have a gentle curve in our back here. Drop your left foot, standing forward, full, let the fist come heavy up overhead. What is your intention? How can you think and move in a way that's more loving, compassionate to self? Inhale, halfway lift, release your grip, exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, reach your right. Exhale the hands to the heart space this time. We're going to start here for our back bend. So as you inhale, you lift through the chest. Let your hands lift. Exhale, just tip the head back, look up. Each inhale, imagine your hands lifting your chest a little higher, lengthen the lower spine. Exhale, tip a little bit back. A few more breaths. Staying in your back bend, extend your fingers up and back now. Open your arms, let your arms come wide. Elbows, cactus, all the way back up to center. Hinge up the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to high plank and pause. Let's go to our right side plank, left fingers to the sky. So whether you drop your bottom knee or not, let's lift our top foot. So if you need to drop your bottom knee, lift your top foot and tap it forward on the opposite edge of your mat. Inhale, lift the foot, tap it behind you on the wood. Inhale, tap it forward. Exhale, tap it behind. Beautiful. Tap it behind. Plant the foot. Wild thing. Lift the hips. Fingers reach towards the windows. Inhale. Come back to your neutral plank. This time let's bring our left thigh into our chest. Shoot it out through the right side for a fallen triangle. Let your back heel drop, right finger reaches to the sky. Beautiful. Keep those hips lifted. Maybe you engage your core and lift that foot up to the sky. Let it hover. Let it pulse gently up and down. Beautiful, yeah. Hug that thigh into the chest. Come to your neutral plank, three-leg dog, left leg to the sky. Walk your hands back, standing splits. Keep that left heel reaching all the way up. Find your blocks under your hands if you need them. Let your head become really heavy. Release. Walk back out, downward facing dog. Inhale, glide forward, high plank. Option to drop your knees, lower halfway as you exhale. Squeeze those upper arms into your ribcage. You should feel them squeezing, squeezing. Inhale, press away, lift the chest back up. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, halfway, pause. Squeeze, release the chest to the earth. Inhale, open the heart, lift the chest, cobra, full up dog, your choice. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Bend the knees, stack the hip, and draw big circles, or take a wild thing again. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to your three-leg dog. Release that left foot down. Inhale, come high on the toes. Lift the heels. As you exhale, bend your knees deeply to the earth. Look forward, step or hop your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, root to rise. 
Exhale, back bend. Shh. Stay back bend. Even inhale, just lift the chest higher. Exhale, let the head fall back further. One more round of breath. Shh. Inhale the center. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to your high plank. This time we're going to take our other side plank, I believe facing the yellow wall. Lift your top foot, step it in front. Lift it up, step it behind. Inhale it up, exhale to tap it. Inhale it up, exhale to tap it. Move with your breath. Next time it's behind you, take your wild thing. Lift the hips, reach those fingers to the front of the room. Inhale to your neutral plank. Exhale, take your, oh, actually hug the right knee into the chest. And shoot the right foot out towards the mirror. Just dropping your back heel, left fingers up, falling triangle. Maybe you lift that leg. Hug that thigh back in, come to your, your plank and lift the right leg up, three leg dog, walk your hands back, standing split. Release, down dog. few breaths of your own practice. Option, this is anything really. Child's pose, cat cow on table. Shift forward for another vinyasa if you're feeling fiery. Take an inversion, take an arm balance. Close the eyes and look within to find exactly what you need in this moment. Check in with your thoughts. Are they supporting you here? Let go of judgment. Let go of criticism. How can we really love ourselves the way we are now? A lot of us come to the gym to improve ourselves. But really the key to self-improvement is radical self-love, radical self-acceptance for who you are in this moment, and that is perfect. So I find your way back to Downward Facing Dog. Take your time. Take a deep breath when you get there. Inhale the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip. Inhale, extend the leg long. Exhale, mindfully plant the foot between the hands. Hop and switch the leg, left foot in between the hands. Let's pivot our back foot just 45 degrees now, planting the heel, rising up into our warrior one. Unless this makes your knee feel uncomfortable or tweaky, you can just lift the heel, stay in crescent lunge. Release the hands behind your back. Interlacing the palms, extend the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades, inhale, lift the chest, lift the chin. So you exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, snuggle that left shoulder on the inside of that left leg, taking humble warrior. Really squeeze the shoulder blades together so your collarbone is wide and broad. Release your skull, look back to your toes, trust yourself. Deep bend in that front knee. A little bit of balancing here. We're going to stay folded forward with our hands clasped and just pivot our feet to a straddle. Feet, toes facing the yellow wall, folding over, looking towards the mirror. Inhale, rise up halfway to a flat back. Release your grip in your hands. Let your fingers pour down, fold back forward. 
option to take a tripod headstand or just let the top of your head pour to the earth. down triangle. And this time if you'd like you can reach your fingers forward above the head like you're holding a big beach ball above your head. Use the core to lift up a little bit. Exhale to lower back down. Little pulses activating this muscle. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Use the breath. Sink nice and low. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, palms to the heart. Sink lower through those hips. Inhale. Pressing those knees to the back wall. Exhale, hands to heart again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, this almost cactus the arms. Elbows go wide. Bend 90 degrees. Reach those forearms back. Lift the right heel. Drop that heel, lift the left heel, and the right heel, back and forth, left, right, left, right, last one, left one, lift, come back down to your goddess, bring your hands to your hips, straighten those legs, pivot your front heel out, so now we're in our warrior two, facing the back wall, re-bend to that right knee. Flip the front palm, inhale, up and back, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten that front knee, for God. Let's go up and back again, exalted. Really lengthen the whole side body. Inhale, come horizontal. Exhale, reach those right fingers as far back as you can. First, find length. Tip over, triangle. Make sure you're pressing actively in through that back pinky toe. Letting both legs be engaged. Our knees are not locked out. We can bend them. They're just super engaged. Inhale, lift up with the core. Exhale, reach back forward, find more length, and tip down. Second round, you can reach forward with the hands like you're holding a beach ball. These are options. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Knee, hands to hips, goddess legs, pivot that front heel in. 
pattern. Option, of course. Inhale the arms up overhead. Let the palms come to touch above the head and just bend your elbows slightly so you're kind of framing your head here with your arms. Open up the fingers like petals, lotus flower, lotus mudra. Sink those hips. Let those elbows pull back to the mirror. Drop the heels. Inhale, straighten all four limbs. Pivot your back heel out. Arms down. Bend to that front knee, warrior two. Carve your the hands down to frame that front foot. Step the right foot, right foot forward. Standing forward, full at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, legs in the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Open the palms up, mountain pose. Pick up all ten toes, spread them wide. Finding balance, pick up your right foot and bend your right heel towards your glute. Just using your strength to keep it lifted first. Really engage that hamstring, get that heel as close to your glute as you can. Reach your left arm forward. Now this right hand opens, palms, palm away to open the shoulder and reach those fingers to the inside of your foot. Inside the heel, inside the foot, fingers come to the top of the foot, thumb to the bottom of the foot. Or you can use your strap. So we're here, we're hugging the heel in. Press in the foot into the hand gently as you kick the foot up and back. You lean forward a little bit as you continue to kick up and back. Dancers pose. Keep a bend in that standing leg. Kick up even more. Reach even more. Find your dancer's pose. Finding a nice back bend. Breathing. If you're wanting to play, you can go all the way into sugar cane. Reaching all the way down. And then coming back up. Take your time breathing. Very slowly, very gracefully, release the pose when you're ready. Shake it out. Open the palms. Mountain pose. Close the eyes. Pick up all ten toes, spread them wide. Plant them back down, connecting to your roots, connecting back to those points of contact with the earth. Pick up the left heel. Using just your leg strength to squeeze it in first, holding your balance. Reach the right arm forward. Feel into every moment with that left palm open up. Fingers to the inside of your foot. Slowly kick it up and back as you reach forward gently. Find that arch in the low back. Opening the heart. Breathing, playing. If you want to play with tipping down, you can play with that. Release when you're ready. Take your time. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Inhale, pick up the right foot. Exhale, cross the ankle over the knee for figure four. Sink your hips gently into a chair shape. <clears throat> Letting this knee really be out wide for our figure four. Keeping the chest lifted. Staying here, balancing, unless you want to reach your fingers down to blocks or to the earth. Folding forward, getting deeper into the hip. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, release the foot. Inhale, arms up overhead. 
Exhale, back bend. Stay back, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, back bend. Another round. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, back bend. Inhale to center. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, figure four. Take your time. Figure four, chair pose. If you decide to fold forward, do so mindfully, slowly, not falling into it. Hmm. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, plant the foot. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge and fold forward. Pause. Let your head hang heavy. Reach for opposite elbows. Maybe you bend your knees a little deeper and see if you can close the gap between your belly and thighs. When you let your belly come against the thighs, it allows your lower back to lengthen rather than arching with your head reaching to the floor. We're all at the top of our mat, so you should be able to just kind of take a seat, sinking your sit bones down. Of course, when we come to our seat, lift those legs into boat pose, hands to prayer. Take a full inhale. Exhale, turn to the right, bring that left elbow in front to the right knee. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale. Shh. 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 In the center, pause. Exhale, low boat. You can let your arms come long. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, low boat. One more. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, all the way down into Shavasana. Let yourself be heavy. Spread all four limbs out long. Tuck your shoulder blades under slightly to cradle the back of the heart. Notice if the back of the neck is long. Maybe pick up your head, let your chin tuck under gently. Allowing the palms to face the sky or planting to the earth. Now let's all take one last deep cleansing breath. Fill up with air as much as you can. Inhale, 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 inhale. Let it go out through the mouth. And slowly draw a deep inhale into the lower belly. 
taking your time to reawaken back into your body and make movements with fingers and toes. Begin to draw your knees into your chest, hugging around your shins nice and close. Maybe you gently rock side to side. Coming into center, lift your forehead up towards your knees, rounding your back, feeling the length come down through those muscles along the spine. Rock and roll up and down the spine, giving yourself a gentle massage, building up your momentum to come all the way up to a seat. Cross your legs, let the eyes be closed, and bring your hands together to the heart space. Take one last deep cleansing breath, full inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Thank you for sharing this time and space. Namaste.